Hello, people of the internet. Board Zach here, and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. And in today's video, I am doing something I have not done in quite a great sum of time, which is an update to the Lego Minecraft world. Um, already, you can probably see what's new. It's pretty big and it's pretty apparent. So, in the last update video, which was about half a year ago, it was this uh, pillager outpost that I put in the world. And I said in that video, it would be a while before I made another update video. I was right, it's been six months. But here we are with this massive change, which is this hill that I've added. Um, so there's a reason for this. I was looking at the world. I mean, as I said in the last couple update videos, the world really was done. There was nothing else to do. And I don't like that feeling. I mean, Minecraft is always about endless creation and endless, like, excuse me, endless growth. And I wanted, I didn't want the world to stop there. So I was like, what can I do to make the world more exciting? I don't just want to update it to update it. I want it to improve it. And I was like, well, I didn't like how flat everything was. Obviously the mountain was a lot of terrain, but I wanted some more. So I was like, okay, a big hill. I'll have to gather the pieces, got the parts, and I decided to go ahead and do it. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, before I start, I do want to say two structures were removed, which was the chicken coop attached to the treehouse and the little diving board farmhouse attachment. Those were removed because obviously when you're looking at the hill top down, you lose a lot of space with the couple bricks that have to build up to the top. And when you lose that space, there's not much, as much space for buildings. And also, I'm trying to have some space for new stuff. So this, on top of Steve's little farming hill up there, you can see quite a big empty spot. Um, that is for the pig house farm set thing that's coming out for LEGO Minecraft in 2021. So uh, I can't show a picture because right now the only pictures are the leaked ones, which I'm not going to show since they're not uh, legally um, announced. But... Without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show this hill off. So, um, I did this I did this video once before, and it got ruined about halfway through. So, if I miss a couple details, I do apologize. It's just because I've already been over this once. So, we're going to go ahead and start here at the base of the hill. So, I added these stairs up to the hill, which makes me really happy. Because I, like, I know this is Minecraft, so you can just place blocks, but it always made me a little upset that there was no, there was no way besides this waterfall, really, to get up on top of the hill, which, clearly, like I said, it's Minecraft, but I'm thinking, like, if I don't want my characters to have to break blocks to be able to get up to where some of them live, so now you can go up these stairs and over that bridge, and you are on top of the hill. So, these stairs here, um, these are stone stairs, obviously. Uh, I have this ice creeper face on it. This hill is kind of creeper themed. I call it Creeper Peak. Um, I have this ice creeper face. Um, this is taken straight from the mountain cave set. Obviously, I don't have much from the mountain cave in here. I mean, literally almost every brick in this. Well, not every brick. I think every brick from the mountain cave is in this is what I'm saying. Um, that's where most of them went. So here's a little something to pay tribute to that amazing set, even though I haven't used much of it, much of it anymore. Um, so yeah, it's just a staircase. There's some torches at the top and some hay at the bottom to show you're getting up onto Steve's farm. Um, over here, I have some uh, savanna grass that eases into the um, grasslands, and I have some TNT up there. Um, also, something you're going to notice throughout the build, there are vines throughout I added those vines because first off the hill was too boring and second um I realized I had no influence from the jungle sets on this in this world nothing from the jungle sets were in the world and the jungle lego minecraft such as some of my favorite ones um the temple and the treehouse so I was like okay I want to add something from those sets so I added these uh jungle vines which I think look really good on the hill so around the base you'll see one of them there um, I brought the railroad here um, one closer. I removed a track and I I removed a track of the railroad so I could um, make the hill a little bigger. I also replaced the actual minecart on here with this one with a chest in it. And this is so, it makes a little more sense in the world that the people that go in there and mine will send materials out and the people who live out here can come get them and send it back in there for more. Um, there's a creeper banner there above the chest, which is, if my finger 
right there, which is taken from the Creeper mine. Um, it's missing it right now, but I've ordered another one on BrickLink, so uh, it'll be replaced in a couple days. Um, on the other side of this, I added this light post from the 2016 Village set. Um, I just wanted something to fill in that space. It was a little bland, and I think that works really well. Back here, there's some sugar cane, two sponges, some more vines. There's some more land that goes back in here, but it's really just grasslands. There's some TNT on there. Over here, we have more of the taiga. The watermelon farm is still there, a tree, and the base to the chicken bridge, which the chicken banner is just there because I had nowhere else to put it. I don't want to put a banner like that to waste, so I put it up there. So that's mostly it for the base of the hill. Nothing over on this part of the world really changed at all. So everything's just over here um, on top of the hill. So besides those two removed structures, everything is still here. Steve's water well is here. And I will say Steve's well makes a lot more sense now that he's on top of a hill because I said prior that I didn't really think it made sense that Steve would need a well because he lived right next to a lake. But now that he's on top of a hill, it makes a lot more sense for him to have a water well so he doesn't have to go up and down the stairs, back and forth, um, so he can water his crops. Um, the farm is the exact same as it was in the other world, but, um, excuse me, but it's a lot more visible now because it was turned at an angle where you couldn't really see it before, so it looks a lot better now. Scarecrow is the same from the pillager set. Some torches and flowers. This tree's still on fire. Um, one thing I did add to Steve's house was this gray mat under his door was there just to fill in some space, stone slabs. There's another tree behind the bridge. And here's one of my favorite parts of the update. And the last part I really have to show off, which is this bridge. So this bridge is a mix of colors, um, stones and woods. There is some more dark gray up under there. It's kind of hard to see, but um, it is in there. And then a lot of light gray and some wood. Um, those there are hedges on both sides. And then on top of these wooden pillars here are lanterns. Those are from the Crafting Box 3.0, which I don't actually own. But obviously those are super simple builds. And there's some vines hanging off of this bridge to signify it's been there a while, even though it's only been there for like a day. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't really know what else there is to show from the update. This video has gone on for quite some time anyway. I will get up and show you the bridge from this angle, how it connects the hill to the mountaintop. So yeah, um, there's really not much else to show from this update, and I'm really glad I got to do another update. Everything on the hill is a work in progress. There probably will be more update videos. I don't know when. It might be a while because I might not have an update until the new 2020 stuff comes out, or 2021. So, um... I will also be adding stuff from all the new sets in here, but I won't have any of that for a while. So you'll have to bear with me until then. And until then, that is all for the LEGO Minecraft world. So yeah, um, there's a update for Ninjago City coming soon. So you'll see that later this week. And besides that, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.